<laughs> good day, good day. <laughs> How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and I am here to continue our series that we've been doing here lately. Uh, if you don't know about it, it uh, we made it a, a playlist in the back there. It's every model from um, a toy manufacturer. So we're kind of just going through there. Um, you guys thought, oh, sorry. You guys thought I forgot about this, which I almost did, but I didn't. <laughs> so we did Hot Wheels before, and, um, you know, this is the ever most popular. We did Hot Wheels before at the 164 scale, okay? Well, uh, and as well as Matchbox and stuff like that. Now, last time or whatever, a video ago, we did a Matchbox larger scale. And uh, that's where it dawned on me. I, it got hit on the head, and I'm like, dude, didn't Hot Wheels do a larger scale? And for sure they did, and they're die cast. Uh, die cast, die cast. So anyway, and there's the proof. It says Hot Wheels right there. This one says Hot Wheels right there. So there's the proof. Um, this is, um, and, and it says die cast custom vehicles. Look at there. Dropstar Range Rover. We had did a video on this. Uh, check out the list, uh, the Hot Wheels playlist, and you can uh, pick this up and uh, find it. We did a whole uh, video on this, but this is just a recap of uh, large um, diecast models that they that Hot Wheels did. Anyway, so this came, these came out. Oh, what did when did these come out? 2004 plus, I think. Yeah, I think these ran for a couple of couple of years. Uh, this is the the little buggers here, and you know I don't think that it really gives us a scale on here. I'm trying to look while I'm trying to flash you there. Uh, I really don't think it gives us a scale, but I think this is like 143rd scale, and uh, we'll take a close look. Now these I got these two. I don't if you kind of remember from the video. I got these two separate. Um, I think this one I actually bought in a package and opened it up. And yes, I still have the package. This one here, I just bought off of eBay, I believe. Uh, and look at the wheels, look at the rims. This is uh, gold, silver, a silver in that fat lip rim. Look at the fat lip rim on there, huh? And these and all the rest of them that I have are black though. Sorry for the bling there. <laughs> flat lip so uh i was gonna i got it and i was gonna take it apart you know it's just too rivet construction i was gonna take it apart and uh you know kind of break it down and show you um but i didn't all the other ones are black so i don't know why that's a variation or whatnot but it is so anyway so let's see they i don't think it says on here um uh, uh dimensions or, or scale but this is kind of like a 143rd scale. There's no moving parts to this uh, casting. This is a, a casting. Now, you, you know, if you don't know, you know, there's machines that make these things. And they're big and they're expensive. Uh, you know, there's big, huge dies that make these things. So this casting dies, they call machines are still around so they could still resurrect this and make a new current you know range rover it doesn't have to be a drop star this was just this particular series but uh yeah they could i mean that, that i would think that this casting the the cast the dies that cast these are still around so they could do that so the next one that's in the hot wheels uh Land Rover, what they made besides 164 scale and diecast is this bar, and this guy is heavy, heavy. So what this is is just a larger scale, and I would say, and um, this is a 24, yeah, or 004, excuse me, 2004, and uh, I would say that this is closer to um, 124 scale, is what these are, and they're just huge. Now, uh, I believe the, the hood opens on this one, um, and I believe that, yes, the doors open up because you can see the rubber bands that hold it, and then the uh, back um, 
does open up. Now, I have an uh, orange one of these and that uh, dark blue, uh, blue-green. That's what this is. It's not black. It's it's a blue-green. So I have those these colors. I think I've got the orange. Let me look. I got to turn around. Hold on. Uh, yeah, orange and orange, orange, white, and um, blue. So I got the white. Okay, all right. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. These I came from Walmart. These were a Walmart uh, thing. This is where I got these from. Was Walmart? It doesn't say uh, that it was, uh, but this is from Mattel. You know, and they are they are Hot Wheels. So, uh, but yeah, this is where I I bought these in person. Um, you can find these on eBay. Um, the last one of these little buggers I saw was going for good money. There's like fifteen twenty dollars for this little one. These uh, larger scale things, you know, they're fifty to sixty plus, uh, depending on you know the seller and stuff like that. But anyway, so there you go. Uh, I think we've covered everything from Hot Wheels as far as diecast Land Rovers and what they made. So I would encourage you to go over, uh, check out the uh, video, uh, every model from a manufacturer, and then uh, go peruse the, do you like that word? Go peruse the um, uh, playlist of the Hot Wheels playlist, Land Rovers. You know, it's just, uh, and uh, you'll see this whole uh, video and I go into depth more about uh, these cars. So there you go. Um, do you got any of these, man? I tell you, come on over to Facebook. That's, I always point over there. I don't know why, but while I'm pointing, I'm, I'm going to give you, a, hey, give me a big thumbs up on this video if you like this kind of stuff. Uh, subscribe down there and uh, make sure you share with your friends and stuff like that. But come over to Facebook. I post these on Facebook. Uh, Roverland is the Facebook page because there is where you guys can show me what you got. And I love seeing that. Um, uh, on other videos and stuff like that, you you guys have um, showed variations. You showed uh, you know better condition because uh, sometimes uh, I just barely have uh, something and it's in rough condition. And you guys show better conditions, which I love. And because you know this is a community thing, and I want to see what you guys have, and I want to see you know you know. If somebody's got something better, let's take a look at it. I love it. I love it. This is all about uh, sharing and, and being part of the Land Rover community and stuff like that. Um, just a quick note. Um, there, um, I just, I probably should show you, but <laughs> anyway, this Drop Star series from Hot Wheels, they also kind of did a remote control one, and but it's it's not... It's by Mattel, but it's by Mattel's uh, remote control uh, branch, Tyco. And so it's a Range Rover. And I did a video on that, too. You can take a look at that. But uh, but anyway, uh, it's, it's not die cast, and it's not Hot Wheels. So I don't include it here in this. But, uh, but there you go. Very cool. Very cool. I like this. Look at that. The matching. It's got the camel hair seats with the the uh, inserts with our orange these are really cool these are like metal on metal these were really a uh, quality thing rubber tires these are real rider tires um you know so really quality little little cars uh they did a lot of cross cross um advertising or whatnot you know the flat lip and struts and and all kinds of stuff with this drop star series you can see how embossed the whole packaging and stuff was they really went all out there and these are entombed very very well so all right so that's it i'm out of here thank you for joining me for the large scale edition of hot wheels land rovers that they manufactured and i think we're going to have more coming up in the near future all right all right i'm out of here thank you for joining me remember slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day!